you are alive. Let it roll. Hello, hello, my fishy friends. I figured uh, I'd just pop on live because I'm messing around in the fish room. And I figured I would uh, stream it like Craig. This is more Craig style stream where he just hits go and what you see is what you get. Hey, bunny. How are you? Huawei. Good to see y'all. Um, oops, you know what? This is going to probably echo. So let's get over here and turn it all down. We'll learn this streaming stuff eventually. Very beautiful, funny viper. Yes. I wonder if I have to have a name. In a studio. Oh, if I have to have a name. Let's just do the money. Mute. Oh, that's what it is. Let me exit out of that real quick. Let's try that again. <clears throat> so, for the two of you that are here, I figured I was messing about and the fish room and i figured you know we got the hashtag clean it like craig and whatnot going around the uh fish fam so i figured i'd start a new one coro hey buddy thank you for stopping in um but i figured i would just come on live i was uh, messing around and i should have put the title hashtag stream it like Craig because this is Craig's type of stream you know where he just hits go live and does what he does so that's what I am doing I'm hashtag stream it like Craig I'm just get my own up so I can take it to whoo, there we are take it to all the um tanks and whatnot there we are okay yay um let me get the tripod for that the show came on way earlier but we did have um family over that is from out of state. To spend time with my father in law. Seeing how he is ill and whatnot. You know, you just never know when that day, the unfortunate day, will arrive, you know. So the family comes occasionally. Hey, Melvin, thank you for being here. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate you, buddy. Hopefully you had a fantastic day. Hopefully all y'all did. All right, let's get this turned over to this side. Let's get... Is that where we're at? Oh, look at that. That's nice. Very nice. Figured for now until I actually like really start doing specific type live streams like that live reactions. I'm not messing with that stuff. I'm gonna have to go and rewatch the live stream that Rico kind of walked me through all those steps and whatnot to be able to remove that. But um, yeah, so so far what I've done today is you can actually see well let's you can kind of see let me uh make this different okay there we go now we can see so you can see those two tanks those two tanks are 2.5 gallons each uh the one 
with the single rock is got some chocolate bristle nose fry and the other one has two cpds one male one female um i'm hoping that they spawn so we'll see just uh it's kind of like a hail mary on those two the male was mine uh he's the last soldier that i had from the group that i got from richard reynolds uh, the female came from Richard Reynolds. She was in a tank with some um, shrimp or something. and Or no, she was in a tank with some other fish. I forget what fish, but they bit off her tail. So I said, you know, I'll take her and I can keep her in here with just her kind. You know, there's only two fish. So I figured that's the best chance she had at uh, regrowing a tail or just living out her life. So... We're hoping they breed and I can get some more. So today what I've done is cleaned both of these tanks out 100% and spray painted the background black. Salient, what's up, buddy? Slow night, yeah, slow night. I guess you got to come watch me. The girl, all right, Billy, don't Bailey. So yeah, I paint, painted the back of the the back glass of those two tanks. I just used spray paint. Um, in my opinion, it's the quickest, easiest way to paint a background or backdrop, whatever you want to call it. But I don't know how easy it would be to remove. I haven't done it yet. Um, I have three tanks now that I've spray painted. The 20 long that's up there and the two 2.5 gallons. So we'll see what the, you know, if the day ever comes, I need to scrape them. We'll see how it comes off. But, but yep, yeah, that's where we're at. Um, what I did prior to starting this live was started to drain this and I've removed all the fish from here. Uh, this used to be purple Moscow guppies but there's getting to be too many for a five gallon. So we're going to move those fish I just don't know where yet but they are all Down here. Look at all those guppies. I mean, there's at least minimum a hundred guppies in there. I don't know if you can see me like the view. <laughs> Can you guys hear me when I'm over here talking to my phone? Because I have this mic muted. And I think I finally learned the issue on why I was hearing myself through both devices. is because I didn't ever mute the mic on my phone. So, yep. So, those are purple Moscow's. This is the 20 gallon that we did last night. Um, this was the one that had the Omega Splendids in it. They are now down there in a bucket. Um, I know I have two females that are pregnant. So we're going to move those. I was thinking, considering there's only seven of those fish, that I would put them up into the five gallon and move the guppies into the tank that we escaped last night. All right, thanks, buddy. But yeah, I figured maybe move the Omeka Splendids, there's seven of them, up into the top rack over there into a five gallon. Put a spotting moth in, in there. I forget. I should actually look that up. Um, 
I forget if they're egg layers or live bears. But if they are egg layers, then put a spawning mop in there. See if I can't get them to spawn. Because, like I said, there's two females that are like, I mean, they look mega pregnant. So, yeah. I've actually, there's this, there's this other thing too I've been looking at. It's on Amazon. It's a, um, it's a face tracker tripod. It's only about, you know, yay big, uh, like a soda can or a pop can for you northerners. Um, you put your phone in it and it's got, a, it's got like a little, I wouldn't say camera, but it has like a little sensor underneath where your phone's up, your phone's here. There's a little sensor underneath it and it supposedly it tracks, tracks you. So I can set it up right here in the corner where you guys are sitting and I can go walk around and it'll follow me it turns 360 degrees it moves up and down I've been looking at that but I, I think I haven't pulled the trigger I got a small room so I don't think I really need it um, and I wouldn't do anything for audio but before I invest in better gear for videos I need to invest more time into the business the handyman and whatnot so priorities you know what I mean focus on work and family my pets the fish then worry about the camera equipment and whatnot yeah, I thought it was pretty slick the first time I seen that self, you know, the face tracking tripod. I couldn't believe it. I still have it in my Amazon shopping cart probably, but I'll probably never buy that because like I said, I got such a small room. So, yeah. So, that's kind of where we're at. Yeah, I mean, I could, uh, I could pull out my old phone. It's just, it has a cracked screen, well, smashed screen. I mean, I can still see enough to use it. And I have the GoPro accessory mount. It's, you know, the, the chest mount, the head, the headband mount. I have a wrist mount. Hey. Huh? Yeah. You want to say hi? I, to hi. Oh. I, can't, I don't know if I can see you from there. No. I exist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gimbals are nice. I, I could benefit from one of those. And hello, June. Because when I record and I hold my phone, I'm shaky. I'm very shaky with it for some reason. The nerves or something. But yeah. Okay, so sorry, we'll put yeah. more of it to go after this, or do you want me to go? Now, what time is it? Oh wow, ten. I guess we'll just have to go to the gas station. It's just some. It's really early. Yeah, it's just for soda. Okay. Yeah. I just was wondering. So. Yeah, I have a half of a uh, bottle thing right here. Okay. So I just wanted to know time wise for store. Yeah. Know I exist. They know you exist. <laughs> and these these people could care less. Like not that not like okay. no, not like that, but they could care less if I made a second account to try to win giveaways. They're not going to, yeah, they're not. <laughs> These are the cool kids of the class. <laughs> yeah, go relax. Bye. Um, I forget what I was saying. but So, anywho, I did want to get y'all's opinion on some stuff, seeing how I'm moving some fish around and whatnot. Um, mainly on the guppies. I have a 55 gallon down here. With some Australian rainbow fish. 
Sorry, Bailey. I didn't know you were coming behind me. Um, there's also some Tetris, some lemon Tetris, and some Priscilla Tetris. So I wanted to possibly put the guppies in this 55 so they had more room for breeding purposes. And figure it out and get y'all's opinion about these rainbow fish. I know Tetris would probably go after the super small fry, but I do plan on adding more plants to this tank eventually. This is actually the next tank I plan to scape. It was scaped at one time, but it is not at this moment. Let's see if we can get this to stand up right. So. I'm going to move my phone over here. All right, let's move you guys. What do you think the rainbow fish would eat the guppies? So there is a male molly in here, but I'm going to move him because I know he would eat the fry. I'm going to move the male molly to the top tank right here um, with the angelfish and the Colombian tetras. That's where I'm going to put the male molly. He's kind of a bully. He's calmed down now that he's the only one left. But uh, yeah, I'm going to put him up there. So it would just be four Australian rainbows. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ten Priscilla and Lemon Tetras. I know they're two different types, and I can't get an exact count. I haven't tried. But uh, between the two, I think there's only about ten left. And then there's some... Um, uh, Salt and pepper corridors in that tank. And I'm not worried about them eating the fry. But do you think those rainbow fish, you can kind of see them over there on the side. Do you think they would eat guppies? You got one tetra there. You can see them swimming towards center screen. That's got a bladder, uh, a swim bladder issue. He gets along just fine. He's just got that little issue. Hey, Fish Fam Link. What up? Does anybody know if Rainbow Fish would eat Guppy Fry? And while you guys figure that out, <laughs> I'm going to go try to catch this male Molly. need to buy another sheet of this double wall of polycarbonate so I can make this one piece instead of two. Oh. You're a dead fish. Unfortunate casualty. Male, female guppy. In the trash. That's another question. Do, do you guys flush dead fish? Like fish that you know are 8,000% dead? Like that one's lost all colors. It's, it's, it's dead.
Let's see. Da, 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 da. I never cut rainbows, but I hear they're kind of food hogs. But they have small mouths for the body. Yeah. And these are, I mean, they'll get a little bit bigger, but these are like the bigger ones are kind of at their at their size, you know. These aren't like Bosmani where they get real big and whatnot. This is pretty much the shape that they're going to be. Uh, Stephen P. and Kelly Foreman told me what they thought they were by me describing them, like the, the actual name instead of just Australian Rainbow. Which, that's the one thing I hate about freaking uh, like big box stores with their fish. Like if I bought these from just a LFS, you know, fish only shop, they probably would have had the actual name instead of just the generic name Australian rainbow fish but what can you do you know you win some you lose some one two three four five seven yay mm -hmm. I did throw a couple smaller guppies in here and they're still alive so that's a good sign Tell you what, that's the downside of having these these rack systems like this. Hard as hell to catch fish. And I don't want these floating plants in that tank up there, so we'll pick these out real quick. Get my ladder, and we'll get this guy in the water. I'll give him a little drink over here before I go. I don't want to keep him out of the water too, too long. Alright, there, sit in the water, buddy. Ow! So this is the tank that he's going to be going in. We got seven Colombian tetras. And we got three angel fish. One there and the two there. Uh, salt and pepper quarries. We have one Rashardi cichlid in here because it was getting picked on. And we have one Chinese algae eater because they were sold to me as something else. Let's go back down here and get the fish. See if we can do this one handed. Tried to give this uh, Molly to Tommy Silver so Creek, but he never, he never got back to me about it. It's a sailfin Molly that I bred. Um, I didn't try to breed sailfins or nothing like that, but this is just what came out from either a standard black molly or dalmatian molly so those are the two the females we had and uh if 
think we got Dalmatian males. Yeah, it'll be in here. Alrighty. Go back. Set this up here. Get the ladder put away over here for the time being. I can't wait till I can get something to cover these right here because I guarantee you if this was covered that light glare would not be as bad as it is yeah that glare wouldn't be like that I wonder if I were to oops sorry y'all I were to put this camera up here. Oh, now it's going to fall over. Let me try that. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, we'll leave it right there for now as I collect these, uh, these duckies from this bucket. And get these, get them in this tank here. Alright, we need a smaller net. Go right here. Got a bunch of water on the ground. Which I don't really care. Chunk of them. Here's some of this floating plant. I love this floating plant, but it's almost as annoying as duckweed when you put your hand into the tank. Alrighty, here we go for the release. Be free! Wee, 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 wee. Someone, we should click that, and that's the sound we should put over it. If you've ever seen like, like ducks or penguins sliding down or anything, it goes, wee, 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 wee. That's the sound we should put over that. <laughs> Here's some more. Alrighty, what do we got? Yes, more tiny, tiny. We got one dead one in there. I might have squished them with a net when I was catching them. God, they're fast. Few more here. Yeah, there's one dead one, so we got two dead ones. And I'm just gonna throw them in there because they will get eaten either by the fish or the snails. So, not too worried about that. might have to switch up the um, floating plants in this tank to something that has some root structure because this uh, floating plant I have in there does not. It 
doesn't have any uh, strong root structure, you know. It's more of a uh, like a surface grower. It grows more like like this, you know, like out. Which actually I can show you. Um, there's another one, and I don't know if this is it. Like purple fringe wickia, I believe is the name. But as we can see. It's really not any, it's really not any good root structure to it for like fry. But it like, uh, it'll grow more in a circle like that. It's about the size of a, a dime or a nickel, somewhere in between there. And they look like little hearts. You know, just get, it'll get one, two, three, four, five, you know, all the way around. Um, I got this. This is actually one of the plants that is thriving and doing really well for me from the uh, um, fish fam event that we did further this last Christmas. That was one of the, the plants I got. And I have it in the shrimp tank. And you can kind of see, like this right here, how it, it's kind of coming together to form one plant. There we go. There's another good example uh, right there. Yeah, both of those. Like that. I'm trying to find one that's completely solid, like all the way around. I don't really see one. But, but yeah. One of my favorite uh, floating plants. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I don't like how that glare is. Try to find tops. The male is responsible. Oh, there he is. He's responsible for all these other fish. Well, so are the females, but he's the one that fertilizes them all. His tail is not the best, but it's better than it was when I got him. And if you didn't know, these are the ducklings I paid six dollars for about twenty-five of them. Some were in the bag. Four feet or three females, one male adult, the rest couple, you know, were fry. So there's that. Now I gotta find something to do with those and then i need to find something to put in here turning it this way. I 
meaning in a better tripod. Well, I have a better tripod, but I need a better mini tripod. Alright, let's go see what y'all are saying in the comments. And then we'll get back to this in a little bit. And I'm hearing myself again, so I guess I didn't find the issue. I've never kept rainbows. Okay. Dead fish below three to four inches in length. Really? I don't know. A quarter of a cup. I bury in the... Yes, Coro. I would do the same for big, big fish and whatnot. Like when we had the... When I had them Buddha, we would do that. We'd go put them in the yard and stuff. And uh, if we have a special fish, um, like we... The, the, we had a fish out in the um, 20 gallon in the living room. It was another Molly that came from one of the ones that we bred, but it had a messed up spine. It was the only one that we really had issues with like that. And so we kept her and we called her Squiggles. She was, we had a banana plant in there in that tank and she would come and she lived on the, the pad of the banana plant. And that was her home and whatnot. But when she passed, we took special care of her. You know, we didn't just toss her. But for common fish, you know, stuff that's just, it is what it is. That's, that would have been a fish that I would have taken to the fish shop to trade. You know, so I'm not going to go crazy about that. That sucks, Coral. I've never had a turtle, but I can only imagine finding it no longer with you. Animal instincts. Hey, hey. Thank you. Bunny. Everyone saying hi. You guys are here just little channel like me then aquarium animals and me hello thank you for coming over yeah i'm just a little guy i do this just for the people in the fish fam and the new people that you know find me um but i'm not trying to become the next fish tuber or nothing like that you know i do it because some of my friends my online friends have asked to see my aquariums and whatnot. And, uh, yeah. I don't like being on camera. But I do enjoy doing these lives. Dee Dee, hey, hey. You made one. Big Steve. What, what? All right. So, I don't know if I should put the Amecas back in the 20 gallon or if I should put something in there that fills it out a little more. There was just way too many guppies to put in a 20 gallon, in my opinion. I'm sure I could have done it and got away with it for a while, you know? Especially because I'm going to be taking some to the fish shops when they get to size that I was able to sex them. That way I can take trios. New local Austin, what's up, Mike? Thank you for coming over. Really appreciate y'all. <clears throat> Hi, Pixie Sue. Hi, Big B. Why's on camera? Look, we're on camera. Yeah, we're on camera, baby girl. Oh, there's Bailey. All right, go lay down, please. Um, but yeah, I could have probably got away with putting guppies in the twenty for now, especially because it does. It will be pretty sick planted once they grow in. Um, but I figured, what the heck, put them in the fifty-five. We'll see how they do. If it's a complete fail, then I've only lost six bucks. You know what I mean? So, 
And I'm sure I could pull some before it's a complete disaster. But that said, I have two empty tanks at the moment and seven Omeka Swendids sitting in a bucket. Now I can put those Omekas <clears throat> in the five gallon like I originally was thinking and throw some spawning mops in there or just whatever. Get them to try to breed in there. A little less room, more focused. I can work with them, like uh, be a lot stricter with them. Or I could also just say, you know, to heck with it and add those Omekas in another tank with something else. They seem to be pretty feisty, so I bet you I could throw them in uh, the 50 breeder down there with Buenos Aires Tetris and some yo yo loaches. MS Aquascaping. Hello. Thank you. I appreciate the lurking. Yeah. Um, I do have Brashardi cichlids. And you know, they'll get they'll get decent size and I'm sure they'll eat them. Um I have angelfish, those will eat them, I'm sure. See a mosquito. There he goes. He's gonna bite me. I don't know where he went. So yeah, I mean, I have options. Um, plus, I, I think he bit me. I've been bit. I've been um, thinking about like adding a fish to the Brashardi tank because um, that's all that's in there is Brashardi or fairy cichlids. Xanadu. D&D. &D. That's right, I forgot y'all were playing D&D. &D. I usually, uh, well, I did make an appearance and say hello and leave my thumbs up and whatnot, but I actually kind of like hanging out over there. You know, I don't play the game, have no clue what, you know, how to play or storyline, nothing. I've never played it, but I enjoy hanging out over there watching y'all play and chatting with y'all and whatnot. But yeah, so I'm stumped at the moment. Where do I put these Emeka Splendids? In a five by themselves. Okay, so that let's go with let's go with some options here. I can put them in a five gallon to try to get them breeding. Awesome. That was my original thought. Let's roll with that. So that's where they're going. I now have an empty 20 gallon that I just planted last night. I do think that if I catch all of my dwarf emerald rasboras, we've all seen them on Foxy's Fishes channel and whatnot. We know she breeds them and all that good stuff. But if I catch all those and put them in this 20 that I just planted, I think they would look pretty sharp in there. Especially once it, it grows out and whatnot. So that we can do that. But then that leaves that five gallon empty. What could I then move over to the five gallon to try to get breeding in that? Because I want those three fives up there. I mean, you can kind of see them right here. But you, I mean, you know, you can just trust me. There's three. Five gallon tanks up there. I want those strictly for breeding only. I want to put fish in there and I want them to breed and then I can move the fish elsewhere or move the fry and, you know, like just play musical tanks with them 
and, and keep those for breeding and whatnot. The two and a half gallons that are in the center here, I want for eggs or fry. So I figured those would be good for eggs and fry. But yeah, so if I moved the Emerald Resboras into the 20, I now have that empty tank. I could take some shrimp, some of the yellow Neocaridinas, and put them over there now that they're uh, really starting to take off. But at the same time, I, I kind of would rather wait on that and let this colony get super strong to where it's like, wow, there's a lot of shrimp in that tank. You know what I mean? So, options. I have neon tetras, flame tetras. Those would be easy to catch. You can move either one of those over. I did lose two neons today they're of the giant variety. I lost, found two of those dead. Well, actually, I found one dead in the tank, and then I don't know if one jumped. I forgot to close the lid last night, so one might, must have jumped, and it was crispy on the floor. So, dick move on my part there, huh? But, yeah, I can move either one of those Tetras. Or I could try to catch the Priscilla or the Lemon Tetras and try to get one of those to breed. The Brichardis alone. Um, Colombian Tetras. I could move to the five gallon, try to get those to breed. I have enough Pandacoris at the moment. I don't. I don't want to focus on the panda quarries. I have enough salt and peppers. I don't want to focus on salt and peppers. Really, I don't want to focus on salt and peppers anymore. Although it is, like, it's a dollar per fish. And I can get, you know, I sold the last, the last time I sold them. I sold the guy, let's see, I took 40 at a time, three times. So, 120. So I got 120 bucks worth of foods and stuff like that, you know, because I did it on trade. But yeah, what would y'all move to an empty five gallon? I may not like seeing all the time. Yeah. Lemon, Priscilla, or X-ray Tetras, Colombian Tetras, Neon Tetras, or Flame Tetras. Actually, you know what? I should try to catch my diamond tetras. I have one. I think there's like three males, one female. I should catch those out and put them over there. Tetras, buddy. Yep. I don't know of the diamond barb. I I personally don't recall them, but. The diamond tetras are like, whoa, they're fabulous. Super, like, glitterified. This light doesn't really do them justice. It did when I had it sitting on the, on the tank. But now it's raised up, you know. It's up inside here. So... Plus, this tank has got a lot of uh, stuff kicked up. I got to do water changes, but yeah, they're super, super shiny. So I see, let's see. Let's see, I see, I see, let's see. One, two, so I see three at the moment. Two males, one female. So I'm thinking that might be our best bet. Try to catch these diamond tetras and put them in a five gallon. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that. Nathan made up his mind. We have a plan. Anybody that missed it? Let me see. Let me put this back up top here. 
Oh, and also I just want to mention too, real quick. I don't expect nobody to go back and watch replays of these live streams. I know like last night's was what three and a half hours. I know I personally wouldn't go and watch that. Um, I don't like what re um, like replaying or re like catching the replay of live streams unless the live chat is available. Because otherwise, then like the person answering questions. They're am yeah, answering questions, you have no clue what they were. So it's like, eh, kind of harder for me to follow anyways. But anyone that missed it last night, we replanted this 20-gallon right here that I am injecting CO2 into now. My first tank was CO2. We got um, some member plants from Stephen P. and Jenna. Some S repins. That one right there by the coconut hut is some pogo stem and helperi. We got that red one right there is a Ludwigia species, a species. Um, I forget the name of it. And I can't pronounce it anyways. Starts with a P. Man, this is really annoying. And then we got this. Let's see if I can get in here. So you can kind of see it right there. And see, where is it? Yeah, you can kind of see it right there. That stem going right there. Um, there you can see that hint of purple underneath it and then it's like a like a spider let me grab the bag and i'll show you guys the names oh oh whoa 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 what is this okay so the red one was the little gear right there. And the other one is that pogo stemming. So. There's that. I gotta get this uh, sponge filter in the water. You can hear it whistling. I don't need it to die. Also need to uh, get the gravel back out and start gravel backing this. What tank should I set y'all up on? All right. Sorry about that. Let's get you 
you guys set up over here real quick. Y'all can watch some Diamond Tetras. <laughs> They're not Diamond Tetras. Those are um, the Colombians and the one Burchardi right there. Burchardi. The one male Molly we just added. So y'all watch that. I'm going to try to catch these Diamond Tetras. Um, put them in this bucket here. And then we're going to clean out the spive. Get the plants back in and get the escaping stuff back in it and then I'm going to put these diamond tetras in that I think let me just see something real quick let me uh, open another tab real quick I need to search two things Our, our diamonds, Oops. Tetris, egg, layers, excuse me. After laying the eggs, the parents should be caught as soon as possible and moved to a separate tank to prevent them from eating the eggs. The fry hatch, okay, so I can put a spawning mop in there. Remove them that way, and then what else was there? Our so actually, I could have back asked uh, New Local Austin Mike Live Bear. Okay, yeah, I could have just asked Mike. Mike knows. Oh, Larry D. Dixie, stop it. Stop it. There are a few replays that are worth watching. Yeah. Probably there's so many. You like, I'm sure we're, we're all subscribed to so many channels. It's hard to keep up and watch every single channel's videos, you know. I had to go through and turn the notifications off of some of them because it's just, it's neither not my style there's just something that wasn't for me, but I still like the person, you know what I mean? So, this is the only part of hobby I don't like. See, I don't mind it. I like to be hands on. I mean, catching fish, yeah, it sucks, especially for me. Like, like that tank down there is pretty easy. That 55 up there would be relatively easy, but they're all scaped and planted. So, it's like if you try to move the nets around and not rip up plants and whatnot. All right, let's see. Let's check chat real quick. Bob Kaler saying big old rubber flying through the air. <laughs> Set on a live stream. <laughs> uh, oh, and is anybody streaming right now? Please let me know if someone goes live. I don't know the schedule. I mean, my phone hasn't gone off, but... Which, speaking of my phone, I need to keep an eye on the battery. On the battery percentage. No, no, baby. You gotta you can't come in here right now. Hold on. Let me move this, and then you can come in. There you go, baby. Now you can come in. There you go. All the way. No, I know what it is. She needs to go for her walk. Oh, why do I forget my responsibilities before streaming? This might be another two-parter, y'all. I'd rather do the two-parter way instead of like leaving the camera rolling and take the dog for a walk and then come back. Because if any of y'all disappear, you won't know that I'm back. But if I end the stream and start the stream, you might get the notification and then join again. Um, so 
but yeah, let me try to catch these diamond tetras real quick. Hold on, Bailey. I'll take you on a walk in us in a minute. Oh, there you are. Hold on, honey bear. I'm gonna take her on a walk in a minute. Oh, I'm gonna end the stream and come back. Man, I might have to figure out a way to get a filter back on this tank. It is just not doing what I want it to. I missed it. Diamond Tetra. Ow. Two. I almost had three. And I actually think there might be four of them in there. Two two males, two females. Which would be awesome. I'm breaking and ripping up so much ballast in area though doing this. Where are you? I don't even see the dang thing anymore. Ow. Man, my knees are killing me.
know what? I'm just going to let that sit for a little bit because I can't find the other one. Let that sit. I'm going to take a break from the stream so I can take care of the doggy duties. And then I will start part two when I get back. And we can proceed. And hopefully by then this other Tetra will be chilled out enough and I can catch it with ease for now let's cover up these fish so they don't jump out of the bucket that there so yeah Hey, Darlene. Hey. Just got home from work. Long day. Yes. Sounds like it. I know you were. Actually, I think you might be in a different time zone. I forget. Oh, maybe not. I don't remember. Um, unfortunately, I am going to have to take a break. Um, Darlene, I know you just got here. Uh, maybe this will give you some time to actually just unwind for a little bit and then when I get back I am going to jump back on and hopefully finish getting all these fish done uh, and moved so what I can do is either a leave the laptop up and running and move it closer to a tank and y'all can just look at the tank or I'll just end it and jump back up that way y'all get the notification yeah a little after 10 yeah it's 11 15 here so yeah an hour behind so i think i should just end it and then start a new stream when i get back that way y'all get notifications um it's only gonna be like 25 minutes or so takes like 22 minutes for our walk to get all the way down to the bridge and back so but it's something i do with her every night so i got to do that so actually yeah we're just gonna end it and i will see y'all in 30 minutes or so i appreciate y'all and i hope to see you each and every one of you uh back here in a little bit just leave it open hey i can do that let me close my phone I'm going to take my phone with me. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll get in the, uh, the chat. Close that. Come on. Pile Aquatics is live. And... this I don't know how good it was show let's just see there's no fish in it but or unless you guys want to watch the secret life of pets you guys want to watch secret life of pets <laughs> oh wow that glare is horrible Oh, yeah. The glare is real. I wish I could, like, cover up the screen. Cloud's coming. Got to take care of our other friends. Whoa. There, that should be better. I 
I'll just cover the computer screen up with a towel.
I know. Yeah, she wants wet food. All right, I'm just gonna go go take a, a tinkle and I'll be back. over here this back up here sorry about that y'all thanks for those of you that are still here there's 10 10 viewers thanks for the y'all for chatting with me on my walk i need to get going i'm not gonna put the phone back on yet because in 10 minutes these lights will be going off and i need to use the phone so i can turn them back on after that, we will uh, connect the phone and um, get close-ups again. <clears throat> but for now, I need to get going. I don't want to. I don't want this to be another 3 a.m. stream. I mean, it's not gonna be. It can't be. I need to get to bed early. Er, early was two hours three hours ago so all right we got the two this four had three didn't i catch three fish <sighs> okay, i put a towel over it so i don't know how they would have jumped out Alright, let's see who's... Come on, shoe. Get off my foot. I have 12 fish to move. Hey, June. Girl, how many fish left to move? I got two in the bucket, two diamond tetras. Um, I know there's at least one more in the tank. So there's the three there. I got seven here of the Omeka Splendids that are going to go up in the tank up here once I do a, a quick little vac and refill it um then the next tank there's 15 or so 20 or so i don't know the count i didn't ever count them um dwarf emerald rasboras that i need to take all the rocks plants etc out of that tank drain it down catch all those fish and those are going in the tank i just replanted last night so let's just say 15 to 20 dwell Dwarf. <laughs> Dwarf. Dwarf emerald rasboras will be going in that 20 gallon. Like what? Oh, yeah. Like those dog food? Yeah. Uh, supposedly it happened twice. So the people that owned her, um, she got out or whatever. They let her out. She got knocked up. Came back, they realized she was pregnant, kicked her out of the house. She lived under their car, dug it out, you know, and lived under her car. Because, as we all know, dogs are loyal as shit. And she didn't want to go nowhere. Like, this is my home. Had the puppies. They put them in the, the metal crates, the black ones, you know, with, you know, with the 
spacings are like this. Um, put the puppies in the crate, supposedly, no water, and put a sign that said free. Nobody came because it was in BFE, supposedly. This is all just word of mouth, you know, this is what we were told. Um, so all the puppies, unfortunately, passed away from this fucking Florida heat. Well, supposedly it happened again because she wasn't out. Now they definitely didn't want her because she, her boobs were saggy, you know, as most uh, female dogs' boobs get after having puppies. So they were definitely not letting her back in the house. Well, she got pregnant again, and supposedly they did the same exact thing. Now, the story we were told was that they contacted the, the animal shelter in that area, and because they didn't have actual proof that they did this because I, I don't know i guess they didn't take pictures or video which why would you take pictures and video of this shit happening they couldn't do nothing so we told this chick that was relaying the story to us do you feel comfortable enough to steal the dog take the dog obviously it's being neglected take the dog bring her back down here to naples We'll meet you and we'll take the dog. And we've had her ever since. But yeah. Shitty people. It's like those people should have everything that they did wrong to this dog done to them. You know. Like pedophiles and shit. Whatever their crime was. Do that shit to them. I have to catch Tang. Reef tank. I don't look forward to it. Yeah, I bet with a reef tank. I bet the, it's a pain in the ass catching fish in that with all the coral and whatnot. I mean, I know how the net gets caught on driftwood and certain plants. I can only imagine uh, the coral and whatnot. I mean, I kind of have coral. You can kind of see some pieces there. Um, that tank, where are we? Right here. There's some coral pieces, like, um, they're obviously dead and whatnot, but, like, I call it Florida rock. Um, once I get the phone back up and running, I'll, I'll zoom in on some of that stuff, but I need to get back to this. Yeah, if people are sick. Treat your animals with respect, especially, you know, I mean, not especially dogs, every animal, but dogs are such loving and loyal animals i don't see how people could do that and also then real quick since we're talking about her the other one i lived in lake placid florida i moved up there for like a year and a half ish for some work reasons and uh, i met this younger couple and they had three dogs they had brandy which is one of mine and she was just a puppy i mean you could see all of her bones and everything they had Randy's mother, which was like an American bulldog pit mix. And then they had like a, um, yeah, it's like a, like a wiry hair type dog. Almost like the, you know, the Caesars dog food, that white dog is similar to something like that. This, that size. And, uh, they were all skinny and I was like, what are you guys feeding these dogs? You know, I'm like that. They, they're just underweight and whatnot and the kid was like oh we feed them table scraps and occasionally when we can afford it we get them dog food well come to find out he was spending any money he got on weed and then they also had a kid at a young age which good for you take care of your child i understand that that's a very important but then it goes you go child like diapers food weed then dog food like no that's that's not how it works you know we have kid dog food weed <laughs> yeah and i mean there was brothers and sisters but they only had one of the puppies the other family members had the others um so i was like you know what screw it i'm gonna start feeding these dogs i, I had money at the time i was making money we i lived the place i lived at had dogs so i could always just take dog food from there and go over there and feed them and I was doing it every day for a little bit. And I mean, I didn't mind. It was only one street away. You know, this street was mine. This street was theirs. So it wasn't far. But I was like, you know what? Screw this. I'm going to buy them. Just go to the dollar store, get the yellow pedigree dog food. 
you know, was it 15 pounds or whatever? I'm like, I'm going to buy that and they can stay there and they can feed the dogs every day. You know, like, hey, start feeding them in the morning and in the evening. I come back the next freaking day, the next day, all the food's gone. I'm like, yo, where's the dog food? I'm here to feed the dogs. And they're like, oh, we we just opened the bag and dumped it in the garage where, where the pups lived. I'm like, you dumped 15 pounds of dog food in the middle of the garage floor. I'm like, well, no wonder there's 50 piles of dog shit everywhere in the runs. And they also got mad at the dogs for shitting in the garage. And it's like, you keep you keep them in the garage. What the? What do you think that's gonna happen? So I got really pissed off. You know, like you just wasted my money. You just fed 15 pounds of food to these three dogs in one day. It's not not good for the dogs, you know. So I contacted Jenny and was like, "Hey, listen, there's this dog up here." Yada yada yada. And she drove from here up there, which is like two and a half hours or so. And we took the dog to the vet. Got the whole rundown on the dog. Went back to the owners and said, "Okay, here's the here's what we learned at the vet. So here are your options. You can either a give her to us. All said and done, no questions asked. That's over with. If you agree, if not, we are contacting the animal shelter, and we'll we we will pursue it that way. I mean, I had video. I had put we had." The, the vet information, all this shit. And they were like, yeah, well, you, you can just take her. So we took her and have her, had her ever since. The other one, Bailey, the one I just took, the tan one, the one I took on a walk, uh, I was on my way to work. And I'm driving down my street, and it's raining. And I get to the stop sign, and de- I mean dead center of the four-way stop. I mean, dead center. You couldn't get any perfect, any more perfect. Was Bailey standing in the rain with her head down, like I don't know where to go. I have nowhere to go. Nobody wants me. So obviously, I said, "Come on, get in the car." Took her back to the house, dried her up a little bit. Talked with Jenny and was like, "Obviously, I gotta go to work. You know, we'll deal with this once I get home." But at least you're here to tend to her and whatnot. So we do all that. We, you know, I go to work, come home, tend to her, this, that, third. She stays with us for a little bit. Uh, I think we tracked down the owners at that point, and they said that it was a friend's dog, and they know the friend moved and never came back for the dog, and they don't want the dog. So obviously. What do you think we're going to do? So we keep the dog. And we start making posts. To try to find this dog a home. You know, like we already had dogs. We had dogs, cats. We were kind of maxed out for the, the house we lived in. We found a home that wanted her. And they had another dog of similar size and whatnot. And big fenced in yard the whole nine a pool that went like instead of like stairs it slowly got deeper and deeper like a beach or a lake and it was like it was perfect so jenny took her there they had a little play date and then jenny come home and then the next morning they let the dogs out to go potty and they didn't realize that their gate because they had like an electric gate that you know rolled shut the gate runners was just wide enough that Bailey could fit through them, and she took off. It was like two weeks, I think it was, right? It was like two weeks she was out, Bailey, when she ran away from those people to get back to us. It was, it was three weeks. Three weeks? Yeah. So, yeah. A little bit more than that, because I was out every night and every day. Yeah. So once, you know, they called us immediately and they said, hey, she fit through our gate and she's she's on the loose. And this was over like a highway, not like an interstate type of highway, you know, but it was just still a busy highway. And uh, immediately we start going looking for her and all this, you know, every day, every night out looking for her, trying to call her, this, that, the third. A little over three weeks, they find her two streets away from our street. 
so she's made it through that other neighborhood across the highway through all of the woods because it was like um, a rural area it's called the rural estates it was just all woods and whatnot and uh, so she's made it all the way and she made she was found two streets away from our house so she was obviously coming back like hey you guys forgot me over at Susie's house like what the hell I thought we were just going for a play date and ever since that day we decided to keep her so yeah there's a rant on how we came about having our three dogs so let's get back to fish I thought they're not important but <laughs> I need to get back to this get the phone some people should not have pets absolutely see what people yeah not getting much better is it this is still a terrible story yeah the the, the silver lining was now they are they have been with with us in our care getting all the proper care and love that they need Oh, George did, is doing a pop up. If y'all want to go check out George, I totally understand. I want to say thank you and hello to Lunas. Loon S. Lunas. Lunas. Thank you for popping in. If you're still here, I appreciate you. We're going to set this phone back up and then we're going to get back to uh, catching these fish. <gasps> Where are we? Come on. <gasps> now I got the hiccups. Can't do it in that mode. Come on. This is really starting to get annoying. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I, I kind of, um, like, I was at Craig's lurking for a long time and seeing a little bit of those angels. Come on. Doing the, doing the deed. Alright, let's get back to this. Now I need to locate the diamond tetra.
<clears throat> I think there's only one male left. And I need to catch him. I don't want to leave just one male. I don't want to take up this piece of wood again. I guess if I needed to, but there he is. Got him. Ha ha ha. Tricked you. Oh, he got out. Damn it, he tricked me. Okay, then now let's try to find them again. Ha, 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 ha. I am smarter than a fish. Not by much, but I am. Two males. One female. So far. I really honestly think that's all we have in here. This tank, this tank might have to wait on the water tanks till tomorrow. I might not worry about that tonight. Because I'd rather focus on getting the fish moved. And then I can do water changes tomorrow. But I will take this crypt. Parva and stick it back into the substrate. Solid. This tank has so much black beard algae on it. Well, I mean, it's all on the piece of wood that's in here, but. Russell knows. Moving on, let's put this piece of glass back on. Oh, we jammed it right into the wood. And chopped it up. There's a big old chunk out of it. I'll have to grab the paint later and do some touch up painting. Yeah, this tank is in desperate need of a water change and gravel back. I try not to gravel back any of them, but uh, it's getting pretty bad. Okie dokie. So, 
but get you guys back into sorry about the jolting around what happened no you're fine it's pointing in this direction why If you need my help, I'll just do it right now. These folks aren't going to mind. There's other streams they can watch until I get back. They're kind of watching a little bit of everybody's right now. So, if I, if, well, we can, let's just do it right now. I'll take Randy, you take Dixie. We'll go together. I know. We'll go to Adam's. Let's see who's here. Cool, Craig, you got this. Let's see, thank you. I have all three pairs of to fry and hope I can get a couple. Just Yeah, you got it, Craig. I mean, hashtag raise it like Craig. <laughs> I am going to do have to jump out front again. Um, the wife tried to take the other two for walks, but they want no part of it because it's kind of like our nightly routine so they're waiting for me so i'm gonna go with her and just take them we're gonna take them both at the same time see if i can't get them to do the duty the the duty duty and i'll be right back five minutes or so we'll put you back in front of this tank again
How many people? Yeah, we lost a bunch. <sighs> of course we did. Go, go, go.
Man, my knee is itchy. Psoriasis sucks. You scared me. <laughs> I fell asleep and woke up to this beautiful thing. Looks amazing. Thank you. Some of the plants in that tank will be yours one day, Bunny. Java fern and a Nubius in there, but the majority of it is uh, Val. Alrighty, I bought one of these um, pumps off of Amazon for my tap water conditioner. One pump is one mil. Give it a good shake. Go directly at the water source. And I always add way more than I need. I need to, what am I putting in here? Diamond Petros, egg scatterers. Okay. So I don't need a ton of rocks, but I do need some. So we will shut the water off. Right now, we will set up this. Actually, let me you know. Let me go back to this. So you guys can see me too. I know you guys want to see my beautiful face. And for this scape, I think we're going to use these 
Ooh, I almost dropped it on the computer. These little black rocks. Um, I have. I have a pretty good amount of them. You can see it's like pebbles. My little balancing act. Pretty much just grabbing handfuls of these, and dropping them in the tank, and where they land is where they land. I want this to be for the fry to hide, and I'm going to be floating guppy grass. In the tank, so I don't need a bunch of room for plants to go into the substrate. So, don't break the glass. Surprise, they screw it and use them all. Uh, yeah, I mean they're on, but yeah. Where's the camera? Then here. Facing where? Uh, one's fa well, they're all facing. One's facing a tank, and one's facing me. And now the bin is empty. Mm. 
for now anyways. We gotta clean it out and then put these rocks back in there. Put that there. Push those under there. All right. Man, I got water everywhere. You're fine. No one can see you. Should I point the camera at you? No, don't use my name. They're going to be on the internet. Just making a mess because I'm in a hurry. Three diamond tetras. And the tank. Bucket full of guppy grass. In the tank. Nails in there. And you think. Okay. Girls, you need to either get up on the bed or go out there. in there. I had some oak branches that were really fine twig branch, but uh, getting the smell to it, so we'll 86 that. Alright, let's 
clean up some water, get the lid, put the lid on it. y'all what it looks like. I need to tend to the tank that's next to it as well, but I'm not doing that tonight. I already got enough to do. These aren't really scaped. They are just uh, put together in hopes of breeding. So where are we at? 65%. I can unplug that. Bring me all over here. Just got to scrape the glass so uh, it gets rid of those fine bubbles. But yeah, just the... Uh, Huge pile of rocks going down the entire tank. Bunch of uh, guppy grass floating. Here, let me try something. Let me try something real quick here. Turn that off. Yeah, that's better. So yeah, these are the three tents. Get them there. To the McGill Ivans, Ivanoscopies, or however they're pronounced, the Gertrudes as well. I need to get some females of both species and both subspecies. This has got the three diamond tetras in it, two males, one male. I'm going to throw a spawning mop in there as well from this tank. this tank in hopes that we get some <clears throat> diamond tetra babies and then in this tank is the dwarf emerald rasboras these came from Richard Reynolds uh, they're in the back hiding but those for the ones that weren't here in the beginning when I said well wasn't really the beginning it's halfway through what, what I'm going to do with them is I'm going to put them in this 20 gallon tank that I replanted last night during both live streams that I did. The first live stream was me taking everything out. I had to run to the store, so we ended. When I got back, we picked it back up and I planted this aquarium. It is a 20 gallon with CO2 injection. So, that's where we're at. I think I am going to get started on draining this one. Taking the rocks out. Catching the fish. Moving the fish. Filling up the tank. With, or putting the skate back together. Filling up the tank. And then putting the Omeka Splendids. we got seven of them down there. I believe it is... Three males, four females, but I am not positive. So let me see something here. Put that there. 
that there. That right there. I'll try to get you guys another view, another angle. Angle of the dangle. Lieutenant Dangle. This net over those fish. Hop back over to the computer real quick and see who we have in chat. I believe I've seen some new, new names. Aquarium Annals Me, you've been here. Debs, hello. Good morning. Alrighty, seven people. Thank you all so much for being here. Hey, love, you still in there? All right, come on, Bailey. Bailey, up on the bed. Up, up. You're not getting the kitties. Come on, up here. Stay. Okay, baby, you're okay. So whenever I'm doing stuff like this and reworking escape, I always like to drain a little bit out so I can get in there and pull the rocks without having to worry about splashing. Or like overflowing the tank when you stick your hand inside of it. here. We will not be reusing this. Any plants? No. So, let me see, because that one's bigger. Let's see if it shows. Uh, not really. see something here. Where's my mouse? That's not what I did. All right, there we go. So this is what I was talking about, the oak branches. Super fine. Yeah, Brandy's in here. I, my idea with these when I grabbed them was to like take them off like this. Let me see. I'll just break this one piece. I'm not reusing it anyways. Is to take it like this, which is little. I mean, this is only as tall as my hand. A little bit taller, you know, with the side branches, but was to take it and like clean all clean this clean this the like the stem of it clean clean all these off and leave the top like an actual tree and put moss on top of it to create a tree that was my original intention then i just stuck them in the tank because i figured the guppies and smaller fish would uh 
enjoy swimming through all the tiny little branches, which they did. But I tell you what, it makes for a pain in the butt to get in there and do anything. Considering that I'm going to be trying to breed in these aquariums, I figured it would just be best to uh, 86 them all together. Yeah. yeah. Okay, here I come. Uh, here I come. Oh my god, I'm a potato. Dee Dee, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Ebs, you as well. I appreciate you so, so much. Coro, you rock as always. Thank you. Bunny, if you are here, thank you so much. You are the MVP. Wait, I don't think Miss Hubby is real. Yeah, she's real. Believe it or not, I did find someone to put up with my ass. Dee Dee knows she's real. Dee Dee's seen her and heard her, and I think I believe Dee Dee's seen her on uh, on camera. It was actually the Fish Fam Christmas event two Christmases ago. why I dried these aquariums because I'm just splashing water everywhere again. For the bigger guys, that's when the bucket's gonna get heavy. Rah. And I'm gonna be adding the rest of the rocks that I have down there into this skate because I also need these to have enough place for fry. Or eggs to drop or anything like that you know what I mean so you know what I mean jelly bean I'm like, I'm hearing something, but duh. Alright. I gotta turn this LED uh, light strip back on so I can see what the heck I'm doing. I'm 
know, vacuum it out real quick, fill her back up, put the rocks in it, put the fish in it. Super, super, super duper rapido. I can vouch for her. Yes, thank you, Dee Dee. I'm not usually up this late. Enjoyed it. Well, thank you, Dee Dee. If you got to turn in, completely understand. I appreciate you for stopping by and for everything you do for the fish fam. And we'll see you in the next one when you're live. I think Thursday, was it Thursday? You and Foxy? I believe this was next time they'll be on screen. Yep, the hot mess express. Choo choo. <laughs> All right, what net do I want to use? No, you stay right there. Stay. I gotta get some more dechlorinator because I use it like it's going out of style. I don't even know how many of these guys I have. I do know that they like to play dead.
already. I think I got them all. Give them a count. Actually, I'm going to wait to release those until the end because they are going into the freshly planted 20 gallon CO2 tank. Yeah. Um, I can't even say the damn word now. I'm on point. Sophisticated. So, 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 so. What? There's a there's baby Cory uh, Cory Dora's in here. What the hell? Yeah, there's two, two baby Corridoras, like baby, baby, proper babies. I mean, not like days old, but over a week, I'd say probably the size of my pinky nail, you know, I mean, so 14 inches. <laughs> I don't know how big that is, but holy smokes, we got quite a few of these uh, emeralds. Yeah, I was over at Richard's hanging out, and I mentioned uh, he was like, "Do you need anything? Want anything fish wise?" And when I was like, "I'm always wanting something from your fish room. I'll take seven of everything, you know." But I said. But I wanted to try these again. He was like, I got two tanks with them in there. Go ahead and scoop you some out. And I said, how many would you like me to take? You know, like, I'm not just going to take whatever I want. You know, that's disrespectful. Especially when he doesn't accept money from me. He's like, oh, I don't care, man. You see, I got plenty of them. Take as many as you want. And I was like, you do realize who you're telling to take as many as he wants. I'm like, I'm addicted to this hobby one. Too. I love every, all every fish that's in this house of yours, and you're telling me to just take whatever I want. I'm like, you better choose your words carefully, buddy. <laughs> so I just did two big scoops, and I was like, how about that? And he's like, yeah, grab you some more. And I went in for the second scoop, and I was like, that's enough. So I said, I'm not taking any more than that. But he's like, oh, sure, if you want more, take them. <laughs> and I'm like, no, nah, it looks like I have a pregnant female in here. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna say thirty. There's at least thirty dwarf emerald resboras that will be going into the planted tank. In this tank, we're gonna be putting the seven Omeka Splendids. Good night, Dee Dee. Thank you. All right, let's catch these two two cat uh, corridors because they probably will get eaten if I leave them in here. Where are you? Hello, Lucy. No, I'm not imagining this. I'm 
Now you don't see them. You don't see them now. What the heck? What they're pain in the butt to catch. Oh my goodness. Let's get this piece of plant. Alright, now where to put them? Do I just put them in there and hope that they grow? I think so. Go. I know, baby. It's gonna be like this for long. Almost, almost done. Almost ready. Piece of moss. Let's get that out of there.
is a message. This is a message from the emergency broadcast system. You suck. Moving right along. Box these in the tank. Enough. Get some water in this bad girl and put some fish in it. I need to throw some plants. Home stretch. Need to add a little bit to this. Ah, 
Whoa. Whoa, whoa, easy, guys. Kind of jump all over me. Jeez, oh, Pete, settle down. You guys are getting rowdy. What did you guys do that for, huh? What did you do that for? Okie dokie, pokey. Let's see. If we put you all on the bed. What do you see? Low battery, the charger's plugged in. What the heck? This charger sucks. All right, let's go full screen. How many's here? Three. <laughs> Three people. I don't blame you. Full screen, baby. Lift up. the three four people all right for the four people here here we go we're putting the mecca splendid this pink here we go probably hard to see because there's no light but we'll get a light on it ASAP. let's get the edge cleaned up some water gotta get the sponge filter back in here a little full. Could have left a little bit more up.
Clean up some of these buckets real quick. I have some room to walk around. This is good enough. I mean, they can, they can't really swim down the complete side, but they can go under and over that rock. I wanted a lot of hiding spots. That way the males couldn't fight. Um, we'll see how they do in this tank. If, the, if I notice aggression and whatnot, then, you know, obviously I'll move them. But hoping that it works. Emerald Red Forest. No, I'll go. Am I what? Yeah, I'm just adding these fish and then I'm done and getting off. I just got to put these fish in this tank. Yeah, because it's what? 1.30? Yeah. I'm not staying on until... Three o'clock again. Just can't do it, y'all. All right, let me dump this and dump the fish, and then we'll be good to go. I'm gonna do that off camera. I got to go. I still gotta go to the store. I gotta get my Mountain Dew. How many we got here? Four people. And those four people are gonna see me dump 30 dwarf emerald raspberries into the 20 gallon CO2 planted tank. All right, are we ready? I work, just set, go. Whee. Whee. Night. 
and they are all hiding. Come back out yet? Nope, not really. They're all hiding. How nice of them. Let's see if we can throw a little uh, food out and see if we can get them to come out a little bit. I know they're uh, it's a new tank and whatnot. But... Let that food hit. Let's see if we can get them to come out. Well, a couple of them are coming out. I'm hoping by, you know, well, I would say a few days, they get used to the tank, and then they get used to me walking back and forth from it, because they are coming from above my head level in the fish room to now they are, you know, around from my waist to my shoulder level. So they're going to be getting a lot of movement back and forth from in front of them. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. I could also add something um, that's more of a top, top dweller, you know, top swimming fish. So as it stands right now, there's these 30-ish dwarf emerald resboras. There's three chocolate bristlenose bays. Um, let me see. Let me take the phone off of the stand here. You can see one right there on the pipe, and then the other one underneath that suction cup. I don't know if you'll be able to see him a little bit. You can see his movement on that piece of wood. I don't know where he went now, but... Oh, uh, he's still there. He's in the corner. You can barely see him. So yeah, so there's three first on those babies. And these emeralds. I'm excited to watch this tank grow. So alrighty folks. I'm gonna sign off on the phone and then jump over. Thank you, Debs. I appreciate that. Yep, I'm going to end the phone video and then jump over to the computer to say goodbye. It's so hard to say goodbye 
to yesterday. Yay. Gotta turn all these off. It's almost two hours past their bedtime. So late night. That's why June left. She went and did a live, which is okay. That's awesome. So for the four of you that are still here, I know Debs is one of them. The other three, I do not know who you are, but thank you so, so much. I appreciate y'all. Uh, maybe next time I do something like this, which I got some more stuff I need to do. You know, another 55 needs to be rescaped. Um, possibly might have to move some of these fish around if they don't work out in these setups. So, but I need to do it a little earlier. <laughs> Today was kind of just last minute decision to do this. Plus, we had family from out of state, so didn't want to be too read. Oh, hi, Darlene. Thank you. Didn't want to be too, too rude and just ignore them and stay over here. Good night, Darlene. Thank you for joining. I appreciate that. Thank you, Bunny. Thank you. I uh, appreciate y'all for hanging out with me. And, yes, that will do it for now. And to the one... Random person that didn't say you were here. Good night to you. I appreciate you. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, remember, as always, feed your fish. Okay, we're clicking button. Good night. Come on.